non-Muslim. I wonder if that's a job you can take up. Rescue Muslim women. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. This is your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to thank everybody out there for subscribing and for giving us reaction videos. You guys are really really amazing. We have tons of reaction videos and we are planning on doing them like one by one. And yeah, and it's a new year and everybody out there who's you know, uh, who's new to this channel, welcome. This is a reaction channel. We do a lot of reaction videos. If you want us to do any kind of reaction, you just let us know in the comment section below and we're gonna do it for you. So right about now, today, we're gonna do a reaction video. And this one right here was suggested by a lot of people. And they suggested that we should go react to how Hollywood fails Muslim women. The Muslim lady, I think the Muslim lady over there is gonna explain it to us. Yeah, so thank you so much for the people who, who actually suggested uh, us in doing this reaction video right now. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. In one of the highest grossing superhero movies of all time, Iron Man 3 depicts the main character's best friend, Don Cheadle, as a U.S. military combatant. He kicks open the door and liberates the enslaved Nakabi women from their oppression working in a Middle Eastern sweatshop. Nice propaganda, by the way. <laughs> Recent controversy with numerous TV shows and movies portraying the real representation of Muslim women. Hala, an Apple original, lazily portrayed every single stereotype Muslim women face today. She's depressed, not heard, covered, but this liberal rebellion gets rescued by yet another non-Muslim. I wonder if that's a job you can take up. Rescue Muslim Women Services. RMW Services, how can I save you? <laughs> oh, and by the way, this is not an attack on non-Muslims, but simply bringing to the awareness the continuous systematic portrayal of Muslim women being rescued from Islam by Anglo-Saxon men. So, to save you from watching hours of cheese ball, I'll lay out the narrative for you. Attractive, poor, Persian, Arab or Desi girl falls in love with a progressive, tender-hearted non-Muslim, but her intolerant of love parents force her into a life of grief and deprivation. But this hijabi hostage is a real liberal rebel at heart and runs away, throwing her deen, family, hijab away, Written, produced, and directed by Al Masih Dajjal. How romantic. <laughs> the constantly reoccurring theme of the non Muslim saving exotic oppressed Muslimah is just one way of colonizing the mind and heart of Muslim women. Also, insidiously demonizing the Muslim male as a villain. This is just another avenue to socially engineer Muslims away from their faith and into a godless liberal dystopia, painted to us as liberation and freedom. While our Muslim sisters from abroad are suffering physical wars, Muslims in the West are fighting an ideological war. And in order for us to win, we must take ownership of our own stories and tell it our way. All right, that's pretty amazing. I understand where she's coming from because um, Hollywood is trying to paint a picture where um, that is some sort of social engineering where it portrays uh, Muslim women to be this type of, 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 of women. And it's not only Muslim women, it, it, it even narrows down to uh, even uh, the, the 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 black community you get it the way they portray uh black woman and the way they portray uh black male i mean it's, it's really bad to profile people especially uh a 21st century i think it's not really good i think um i think it's not really good but what i really understand is that hollywood is an institution or it's uh a place where agendas are being 
pushed in you get it because they know a lot of people are watching these movies and the more we keep on watching the more they condition us with um, with those mannerism of social engineering in terms of uh, like what she just explained to us how they portray Muslim women and even Muslim men and and all these um, how, what do you call this and all these other communities or maybe uh, people who are indigenous or something like that I don't know if that's the word that I'm always looking for but anyway I mean we Hollywood people should start like looking at it like it's a it's a it's a it's a tool that conditions people it's not at the end of the day you get entertained but the message they are trying to portray is actually the opposite of what you you really want to see or maybe what you want to to to, to, uh, to see towards the end you can talk about this topic uh, community whereby we tend to see that uh, we see robots uh, who are actually taking over the community or probably uh, people actually being bots, people are actually uh, being controlled just via media and whatnot. And most of these movies, they do portray such kind of things and it actually gives us uh, like subliminal messages um, on what's gonna come in the future. But regardless of that, what the lady was trying to say was that uh, there's so much profiling when it comes to Muslim women. I mean, uh, you find a nice Muslim lady probably uh, living in the United States or probably in Europe and uh, in these movies you see somebody who's probably of Anglophone or the English speaking countries who comes and uh, maybe be friends with her maybe she maybe he becomes uh, he he actually ends up liking her and towards the end of the story he ends up probably saving her and what's what's happening to this Muslim lady she ends up forgetting her tradition and so forgetting what she really is in the actual sense I mean she probably puts aside what she was taught and adapting to the Western community or adapting to the the English uh, speaking community which is shouldn't be a factor it, sh it should actually be the other way around we should be able to teach them <laughs> our ways you know but anyway it's Hollywood what do you expect you expect to see such kind of things and yeah it's true they are failed according to the topic over here uh, Hollywood has, has actually failed Muslim women yeah and it has failed not only Muslim women a lot of people out there because what we see today in the Hollywood movies is actually sickening very very sickening anyway guys thank you so much for reacting to this video I hope that you get to learn one or two things and also if you have any kind of reaction video just let me know in the comment section below and if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you want us to do oh just tell me what do you think about this topic here or this video do you think hollywood has failed muslim women or do you think it hasn't failed muslim women or do you think hollywood has failed like the whole community just let me know in the comment section below and i will be able to look into your comments and I'll be able to reply to your comments too. And also another important thing guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better, better content. And last but not the least, I'm gonna see you, or rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out.